morning it's commanding your morning with Samo Sinachi on your number one business radio broad street radio yes i'm sure you had a very fantastic and wonderful night rest and you are up and you are hale and healthy listening to me right now those of you listening via the mobile app and the website and those of you watching me live right now on facebook i give god thanks that he has given us the privilege to be part of his agenda for today is a very very great privilege to be alive in god's plan this morning and i say congratulations to you for making it into this new day and today is the 29th day of the month of october in two days time october will roll away and we will roll into november praise the lord yes this morning um, on commanding your morning we will be looking at another topic what god would have us do in this season because uh, the time is drawing very very near the time is drawing very very near let no man think that they still have all the time a lot of persons will be saying since i have been, since i was a child i was born in 1950 in 1940 i've been hearing jesus is coming soon jesus is coming soon he is yet to appear I am 90 years old now he is yet to come i am 80 years old now he is yet to come hello the bible made us to understand that a thousand years is like a day in the eyes of god and so if god is saying that no one knows the day is a day is actually a thousand years so no one knows the day to us it might look like years but to him he's just looking at it like seconds minutes hours to the time that he would send his son to come pick us from this planet earth all right so this topic the topic we'll be looking at this morning on commanding your morning on your number one business radio brush with radio is hold fast to what you have hold fast to what you have hold fast to what you have before i read the scriptures that we will be looking at this morning i want to um i want to ask you to connect with us on all our social media platforms yes if you are yet to connect with us on all our social media platforms please do so follow and like our facebook page at brushwick radio ng at faith at brushwick radio ng on facebook join the conversations on our instagram handle at brushwick rad and also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Broad Street Radio NG on YouTube. And our website is www.broadstreetradio.com. www.broadstreetradio.com. And we have a WhatsApp line with which you can reach us in the studio here. The WhatsApp number is 0809-791-0074. 0809-791-0074. And for sponsorship and advert placement on Brockwick Radio, the numbers to call are 0809-791-0073 or 0803-436-1400. It's still Brockwick Radio, your number one business radio. Yes, let's move into what we have this morning. The, what message is God giving us this morning? He is saying, hold fast. To what you have what does it mean to hold fast it means to hold dearly hold with all passion hold with all energy hold it with everything that you've got hold it tight hold it to the extent that it is difficult for another to take it away from you hold fast to what you have and what is it that you have your salvation what is it that you have your salvation the salvation of your soul make sure nobody takes you out of god's agenda make sure nothing pushes you out of god's original plan for you it is the will of god that no man should perish and so if god has given you the privilege to encounter his son and you have salvation of your soul please guard it with all jealousy guard it with the whole of your heart and this morning god is saying to us hold fast what you have i do not know what you have and for those of you who have something else outside of your salvation you need to drop it and look for what is right to hold 
a lot of persons are holding on to religion religion cannot take you into the kingdom of god a lot of persons are holding on to titles titles cannot take you into the presence of god a lot of persons are holding on to culture and tradition culture and tradition will not give you the access into heaven a lot of persons are holding on to beliefs and systems and a lot of ideology but what god is asking us to hold fast onto is the salvation and the salvation through jesus christ revelation chapter 3 from verse 10 we'll be reading from verse 10 to 12 it, the bible says behold and um, thou hast kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the earth to try them that dwell upon the earth hmm. there's going to be an hour of temptation and we don't know how many how many years an hour in the eyes of god is <laughs> So you can do the calculation if a thousand years is like a day in the pre in the eyes of God. Divide a thousand years by how many hours in a day. So you will know how many years that actually is an hour in the eyes of God. All right. So he said, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world. All the world. To try them that dwell upon the earth. We just, <laughs> we just received the signal upon the whole world <laughs> just few months ago and we are still um dancing to the tune of what that signal brought upon the world that's just a tip of the iceberg of what god is saying in revelations and in verse 11 it says behold i come quickly hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown what the salvation of your soul will end you when the king of kings will return in glory is a crown of life and so if you give lose your salvation the crown of life that god has decorated he's decorated it for you but then what will give you access to that crown is your salvation just like you make deposits in the bank and then they give you an atm card or an account number so that when you come back to withdraw that money from them you will present that which they have given to you the same thing god has given you salvation your salvation is like your atm card it's like your account number it's like your nin and your bbn what you would give when you get to heaven is that bbn which is your salvation by the time you present your bbn you will be allowed access into heaven and when you get into heaven god will decorate you with a crown of life and verse 12 says that he that overcometh will i make a pillar in the temple of my god oh what a privilege to be made a pillar in the temple of god what a privilege to be made a pillar <laughs> pillar is the pillars are in a building are the things that hold it to stay imagine you pass through and um, wh wh when we get to heaven and then you you you, you see the the temple of god and you just see my name or to see james as a pillar ah <laughs> oh it's going to be a fantastic experience to see my name and to see my works as a pillar in the temple of god hallelujah okay so he says i will make a pillar i will make um, him that overcometh will i make a pillar in the temple of my god and he shall go on more out and i will write upon the name of my god i will write upon him the name of my god and the name of the city of my god which is new jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my god and i will write upon him my new name look at all the benefits that you would get if you hold fast to jesus if you hold fast to your salvation look at the benefits you would get in verse 12 he said he that overcometh you who have held fast held tight held and guarded jealously your salvation 
you who have guarded your salvation with diligence and with the whole of your heart these are the things that you will enjoy number one you will be made a pillar in the temple of god what a privilege a pillar in the temple of god and not only that you will be made a pillar in the temple of god he says he will write upon you the name of his god i will write upon you the name of my god jesus will write the name of his father oh my goodness <laughs> That's going to be a fantastic tattoo in heaven. <laughs> I'm not saying you should go and write God or Yahweh on your uh, uh, on your skin and say, hey, supposedly that you said tattoo in heaven. Hello? God is going to inscribe, um, he, he, Jesus is going to inscribe the name of his father upon us. And not only that, he will inscribe the name, he will now write the name of the city, New Jerusalem. Oh, what a very fantastic experience. I'm giving you the pictures of everything that's going to happen when Jesus comes to take us so that you can be stirred up, so that you can be stirred up to pursue your salvation with all that you've got. And not only that, he will write the name of his God and the name of his city, he will also write um, his name on you. Hear his name. Oh. I, I pray for you this morning that whatever it is that is fighting against the salvation of your soul will leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever challenge, whatever situation you're going through that is making you to ponder and that is making you to have a dilemma over your salvation, the salvation of your soul. Whatever it is that is making you to um, want to weigh your salvation over what the earth is going to give to you. I pray that that thing will cease operation in your life. Whatever is fighting against the salvation of your soul, the salvation of your son, the salvation of your daughter, the salvation of your children and your relatives, I pray with the unction of the Holy Ghost this morning that that thing will let you be in the name of Jesus. And I release grace, grace to hold fast the salvation of your soul, grace to hold fast that which Jesus has committed into your hand, grace to hold fast unto the true gospel unto the way the truth and the life i pray for you this morning that you will not stumble along the road and if you have stumbled already i give you strength i pray strength upon you to rise up and continue in your journey in the name of jesus join me again on monday for commanding your morning on your number one business radio at 7 30 a.m God loves you so much. That's why he has brought Commanding Your Morning your way and through Broad Street Radio. So connect with us every day for Commanding Your Morning from Monday to Friday. Monday, I'll be back again for Commanding Your Morning. Do not let anybody. Over the weekend, you will be tried. You will be tried. But please do not let anything, do not let anything make you lose your salvation. That is your BBN in heaven. That is your NIN in heaven that is your atm card for you to access the crown of life that jesus will give to you on the last day when we will meet in heaven god bless you see you again on monday have a wonderful fantastic and beautiful weekend ahead and may you enjoy the presence of god on sunday with other saints and other brethren we will meet again in peace and not in pieces remember god loves you and i love you too and if you are yet to give your life to jesus please give your life to jesus now say lord jesus i surrender my heart to you i want to be a part of those whom you will make a pillar in the temple of your god come and be my lord and my personal savior and give me the grace to hold fast the salvation that you will give to my soul Thank you for making me a child of yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have said this prayer with the whole of your heart, thumbs up. Congratulations. You are part of Jesus' family. Locate a Bible, believe in and a Bible teaching church and grow in the word of God and in favor with God and man. And you will never regret surrendering your life to Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. See you on Monday.